giving our approval to any activity in the green stripe, in the striped area, that any consideration that we give would relate only to the red area at a minimum. Unless That's you all we're being asked to amend your application. I, I understand that all you're looking for is alteration per permission in the area designated in red. Yes, I, I have no intentions of planting this green striped area right here that is in the buffer is in I will not be planting physically planting blueberries in that area I mow it but other than that I do nothing I, I do not plan on planting the end of my rows of blueberries will be on my side the correct side of the buffer line Thank you. Quick question? Yes. How will you be accessing that area? For any of it or which, which part? Whatever your future plans are or, and you personally um, uh, get back there? I personally and family have access from up here. Um, there is currently a agricultural access off Windmill Lane. Um, I brought that up at the workshop and you referred me back to Bruce on that. Um, Bruce and I have been working on that. And we've almost come to an agreement as to how that is to be worded. So what, what is your plan then for access to the red part? Uh, I will have pedestrian access through this access way. But the green is existing, right? The green section there is existing blueberry? The Where's your existing blueberry on that chart? Right here. So how do you access that, I guess? You're just going to extend the access from where you get onto the back down into the red, is that right? That's correct. This, this entire thing will be one field. Okay, so... So a anywhere... I have... I personally have an access road coming through here, and as I said, there is a existing access. So, so really there's no new access? You're there is no going to extend your... your the area that you tend a little bit further. That's correct. But that is in a resource protection area, is that correct? It is, yes. At access way. But Bruce has determined that no permit is needed for that? He has not referred it to the planning board. Okay. So, could I ask another question? When you, when you harvest this, how do you, how do you harvest the existing ones? I mean, do you use a motorized thing or do you just carry them all? By hand. Well, you harvest them by hand and then you I access pallets and move them off. Yes, I access it with my tractor. So but then you'd have to move the tractor down into that red zone to be able to Yes. Once the the grass is there and established, there will be no soil. Um, the soil will not be disturbed. The cover will be staying regardless of what I drive on it. So Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't at the workshop, so um, I was looking at the ordinance before the meeting. I had a question for you, Maureen. Um, what was it about this RP1 wetland that um, made it qualify for the 250-foot buffer instead of the 100-foot buffer? Um, the automatic buffer is 250 feet. So the buffer is always 250 feet, and you need to be eligible for an exemption to go down to 100, and no application for an exemption has been applied for for this wetland, probably because it doesn't qualify for any exemption that would reduce the buffer down to 100. It doesn't qualify for any? Not that I know of. Okay. It's not how I read the ordinance. All right. Okay. Shall we take public comment? Um, I have one more question for the applicant. Okay. Is that all right? So, um, w one of our st um, standards for review is, um, um, can this activity be located elsewhere, outside the wetland buffer? And so my question for you is, why, why, why do these blueberries need to be farmed within the buffer? Um, can you locate them somewhere else on the land that's outside of the buffer? Well, I'm um, expanding the existing field and from the top of my field up is fenced for cattle. So right now so you're using I'm actually cow. using it for something else. So it has a higher, better use higher, of cow. Yes. Okay. And blueberries have less impact on the wetlands Thank than you. cows would. Thank you. Before we do public comment. Okay, we will.
will now open the floor for public comment. Is there anyone who wishes to speak? Good evening, Madam Chair, board members. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Bruce McLaughlin. I'm an attorney. I'm here speaking for Joyce Beecher, who owns uh, property at 4 Windmill Lane. Uh, she owns the property that is sandwiched between the Preston property and the Ellis Bothell property. So it's right here. Uh, Mrs. Beecher was unable to be here tonight because she wasn't well enough. Her daughter, Lynn, however, is here with me. Um, I provided a letter today that I think you all have a copy of, and that sets forth most of the issues that we're concerned with. And I know it's getting late, so I'll try to be brief and won't read my letter. Um, the, the main concern we have is that, uh, that there's not enough information in context, we don't believe, for you to really conduct a meaningful review of the activities that are being proposed in and around the buffer zone. Um, I, <clears throat> I think you understand, obviously, as, as planning board members, that with zoning, context is everything. Some of the discussions that went on tonight, and I think particularly the discussion about the wall, you can see context is everything. Who's impacting what with respect to adjacent properties and adjacent um, uh, characteristics of the land. And what you have in front of you tonight is an application for a resource protection permit for a tiny portion of what is a much bigger operation. And to look at the, the small piece of property in isolation without understanding the whole blueberry farm operation and how it's going to impact this activity here and the neighbors, I don't think you can really conduct the kind of meaningful review that the ordinance requires. The resource protection permit process requires the use of the procedures in the site plan review ordinance. And because this is an activity that is entering a new use that is non-residential, we believe that you're required to also do a full site plan review as well as a, a, a resource protection review. There is no uh, description in the plan of some of the facilities. We learned tonight that there is a road here that is planned to be used and as was disclosed that road is in the resource protection district and, and as such it's, it was never permitted and is not an authorized use in the resource protection area. Yet, there is no application here seeking permission to use that. However, if you approve this, this application, by implication, as was discussed, you're approving the use of this road through the resource protection district to get to the isolated spot that is the subject of this application. Um, as was discussed, there, there's um, a question of why here? Well, we did hear that there's some, some uh, um, cattle on the property that they would prefer to not interrupt, but we don't know what other spaces could be utilized for this purpose. <clears throat> Mrs. Beecher owns the property right here right here, and her septic is located right here downhill from the proposed operation. She will experience all of the traffic coming through here. Any parking that is required for people to walk up through here, she will experience that on Windmill Lane. Yet none of those 
those collateral impacts are part of this narrow, isolated review that's before you. So we, we urge you to determine, for all the reasons cited in my letter and discussed tonight, that the application is incomplete. We urge you to expand your review to include the use of this road and site plan review of the whole operation. With site plan review, you'll be able to consider the impacts of parking, of access to the site, and how those affect the resource protection district as well as the neighboring properties. Um, Mrs. Beecher has a severe asthma condition, so she's going to be concerned about the impacts of the blueberry operation if there's any kind of spraying. We don't know if there's going to be any kind of spraying. We don't know what's going to be used in, in the resource protection area in the way of um, herbicides or, or pesticides uh, as part of the operation. And um, those are our concerns. Thank you. Thank you. Any other member of the public wish to comment tonight on this matter? Um, I'm Stephen Bothell, and part of most of the properties belong to us. Um, so are you technically a member of the public or applicant? Yeah. A lot closer to applicant. Really? Well, you did. You're welcome to speak, okay. but I think technically okay. you, you are okay. an applicant. Okay. <laughs> um, on the comments of the site reviews and everything like that, I can understand going through site reviews in a situation where you're going to be digging, putting foundations in, and moving large amounts of topsoil and stuff like that for building something. Um, what this project is going to be doing is basically removing the trees and then planting with grass and then putting bushes in. So you're really not changing any of your water flows at all in any of these areas. Um, so you're, I mean, it's not the same thing as digging foundations and putting walls in where you're end up ending up changing water flows where they're going to be moving to a different position and impacting, like her comment was, the comment on the septic system. The water flows will not change, so it, you won't be affecting um, with where the water flows go. Um, and um, as far as travel on the road, it's very limited. I mean, most of the time, it's just to access for the purpose of um, maintaining. It's not something that would be a highway where it would be droves of people moving up and down it all the time. In fact, the harvest period is a very short period of time. And as far as blueberries go and pesticides and stuff like that goes, we've picked a crop that, number one, doesn't compete with the other farmers that we have in town and is a very low maintenance as far as needing anything sprayed on it. It's not like apples that you have to spray them three or four times during their growth cycle, blueberries pretty much do not need any sprays. The biggest problem with blueberries are birds taking the crop away. And in most cases, you can either cover them or um, put stuff up that scares the birds away. So as far as impacting the water flow or people going in through there or, or equipment even, and as far as noise, I, I don't think blueberries make much noise while they grow. Okay. Thank you. Any other member of the public wish to make a comment? Okay, then our public comment period is closed. I'm going to ask Maureen if you could clarify for us, because some of the things that were mentioned tonight <coughs> reflect um, decisions that I understand our code enforcement officer has made as to whether or not a site plan approval is required for the activity.